you don't have to use a continuous line, you'll see how unconfident and um, um, broken your lines will be. Okay? It is to avoid that the continuous line becomes very important. Okay? All right. So now uh, let's um, talk about. Uh, how many of you kind of again happy with it? Uh, how did you? Okay, not bad, not bad. Penguin, brilliant. Penguin. <laughs> I guess it was sitting like a penguin. Can't help it. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay, all right. So now we'll talk about uh, when it comes to bird sketching. Uh, what is the most uh, important thing? Is the posture, right? So once you get the posture and the proportions right. Uh, then you have to feed in the right angles and then that's how that will lead into the form of the bird, okay? So here, one quick thing about postures. All right, here, how is the posture of the bird? It's erect and it's looking up, right? So we'll capture posture on paper um, in a simple line to start with, okay? Um, for example, the kingfisher, um, I'd use one straight line, okay? And then, so where I'm putting the line is pretty much um, in the center of the bird or center of the forms that I, I'll tell you more about, okay? The beak, okay? And then there is the longer line which makes the body, all right? So, for this particular bird, I feel the posture is this. It's sitting more erect, okay? Whereas in this one, the cormorant, I'd say it is more like that, okay? And then straight down, pretty much, okay? Um, in order to do a simple sketch, this is good. Sometimes what I would also do to get the same posture of the same bird is one for the beak, like that, okay, and then you see there's a, the neck is tilted slightly, there's an angle to it, okay, so you could play with your central line as well, uh, you could make it a little like that, and a little inside, and then straight down, so that will help you build the rest of your image later, okay, we're going like step by step a little, okay, so to explain this better, okay, uh, I'm sure everybody knows this bird. The name? I can't hear you. <laughs> All right. Okay, fine. So now, um, okay, the posture, of, what is the posture of this bird? All right, so it is more like the beak, okay? It cuts across the head and there's small neck area and then the the body and then the tail right so that's just the general posture of the bird so now let's go into Ulas. how what to do <coughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. So I just created the small thing uh, just to understand it better. One second. I just want to move it a little bit. Don't do that, don't do that. No, okay, leave it's okay. It's fine. You move that. I've done layers, so yeah, la move over there. This is good. Wait, wait, wait. I just want the white area and tie it in tomorrow. Okay. 
All right. So here we have the posture of the robin and I have like dimmed it a little bit. This is just one step to get you to understand. Um, so we drew the lines as to this is the posture line, right? And then the next step would be, all of us will be doing this soon, the next, okay? So just listen to this. And next is we'll put in the ovals to get the proportions right, okay? And once we get the proportions, like proportion is basically like getting the the proportion of the head and the body right, all right? Uh, for example, let me see if this works now. Yeah, okay, so if we do a small head, okay, and then a very big body, okay, then it, Again, you know, we can alter it at this stage right now. Okay? So, or if we do a very big head, okay, and we end up doing a small body, uh, this is quite proportionate actually. <laughs> so, yeah, I meant um, much smaller body, then you know it's not a robin, right? So, just getting the proportions right initially. And then we can... Once we get the proportions right, we can start putting in the angles. Angles is nothing but, so right now you see the head of the bird, I've just, just done a blob of oval, okay? But angles is when the shape, each bird has its own shape to the head. It is sometimes, it's more hooded, it, uh, from the beak it goes, it raises up. Sometimes it's more square, sometimes it's more rectangular, re rectangular. So those are getting the angles right, okay? So, and then, once we get the angles right, so that's how the form would become, okay? Uh, I'll show it to you on this also. Uh, so, after you get all the angles right, then you can add in more details to it, okay? Uh, so, for now, um, we'll do the same thing here. Okay. Sorry. We have the form of the bird and I've done these posture lines, okay? So I'll do one oval for the head, okay? And then one big oval for the body, all right? And then uh, I realize that the tail has gone to lower down, okay? And look at the distance between the head and the tail, it's not so much, right? So this is when I can adjust it. So this is where it will come, the tail, okay? So now, once we can, we'll start adding in all the angles. Though the circle is there, okay? We don't have to like go around the circle like that, okay? Put in the angles. As you're observing the bird, just put in all the angles that are and it comes forward. Let's see, and the body, and then I realize the tail has to be somewhere here. for you so it is much more brighter uh, where do I go for that um, okay I don't know where to go oh here yeah 
First get the, yeah, any doubts? I will draw big, okay, because uh, it will help you, your hand to move a little more. modified contour, you're always measuring or keeping a check on distances. So just keep a check on the distances. blind contour sketch right hmm? usually for me what happens is when I'm doing a blind contour sketch one side of the leaf I get it usually very well okay I don't even have to look into the paper until I get one side of the leaf okay when I'm doing when I turn around and I'm doing the other side is when sometimes a little something happens okay not bad okay uh, so but that's when Modified contour comes into the picture when in, when you're allowed to look into the book. So even now, try your best to do it in one line. Use, don't lift your hand too much. Okay? Try your best to do it in one flowing line. Where's yours? <laughs> pictures trust me like that if you want to do a very pretty picture like you can do it at your home studio right now in the field when you're sketching we are looking at enjoying it we are looking at observing learning from our observations and getting the details on the paper all right so here when i've done this head shape the ones looking that side the tail down it becomes a interesting field sketch of yours itself 
it doesn't have to be you know one posture of it uh, you can you can play around when you don't be scared to overlap don't be scared to make mistakes basically okay just play with it so uh what i did here okay oh no got it got it <laughs> okay um all right ha so the same thing um we spoke about angles and i'll remove this bird right now um so the same thing what i did here you know you just getting a different movement of the bird all right so over here um um okay i don't have to show it anybody finding it difficult any doubts any questions you can ask uh, if you have anything to say okay okay so the head the um, you need to give it the angles to the head okay so it is more rectangular the head if you notice right okay all right good start nice happening yeah i'm sorry what you want to do the for sure no bird is getting tired of this speech huh what bird is getting fed up this sketch yes changing from one to another pop up hmm pop up okay let's pop up nange illi next slide ma ah uh, could you like start doing the same method that we learned with the oval method first get the posture lines okay and then try to get the proportions the ovals and then the angles of the bones start drawing the angles now okay what i realize now it is a little the body became too big for the size of the head okay so i'm going to make my circle a little more smaller and then so though the circle is here you see how much forward it has come the the chest of the bird is quite forward and more um, rectangular This 
getting the quick uh, Other bird, which is the other minor, the neckline and the body. Okay, now the bills or rectangle. See, it's not round when you say. You might do a circle, but it's not really round all the time. There is a form and shape to it. Okay, we'll move to the next one. Are you not yet? Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. <laughs> Last one minute and we shall move, okay? Alright. Huh, so I don't want you to look and copy from here. Okay? From there. So why not a sketch? So usually it's easier to copy from a sketch because you can see only one line, okay? Whereas in a photograph or in the field, you see the entire bird three-dimensional, right? So it becomes challenging. So when you're practicing also, it's better to do it from there than from here. Here's just for you to, to show as to how to go about doing it. Yes, we'll actually come to that next. <laughs> yeah, we'll come to that next. Okay, done? Next, come on, all right, fine. So the gray herons, uh, over here, the, the challenge, why we put this particular slide in is because what you can see is the neck, right? So when we're drawing the proportions or the ovals for this one, um, trying to gauge the distance from the body to the head becomes very important, all right? So in that one, that image on the on your right uh, is um, the neck is tucked in and it's um, it looks smaller. Whereas in this one, it has an S shape to it. So in this case, drawing these lines become helpful. And the other thing that becomes helpful is you see this sketch here. Um, it's just the outline of this. Okay, trying to just get the posture. Okay, and in this you see, uh, we have not used the line too much, the posture line, but we have tried to understand the bird with many ovals. Okay, for example, like if it is this bird, um, 
Okay, watch me. Um, first, I'll draw that. Then the head, neck goes like that. Then the neck goes like that. Then it turns around. Okay, and then the body starts. There's a big hole for that. All right. So just you get understand the neck. All right. So now when you join things together. Okay, I won't go into the detail of the, the beat. Okay, I'm putting in the angles now. Watch. So it goes. Uh, so you can use, so uh, there are different ways of sketching it. So some people like to do it with the lines. Some people like to do it with ovals. It's actually, what we are trying to do here is we'll show you different kinds of different techniques of doing it. Okay? And you choose what suits best for you in the field. Okay? For me, this is one of my favorite techniques of doing it because the birds are moving very fast. Um, so by capturing it with quick ovals like that, it kind of makes it a little faster to understand the form of the bird. Okay? And this technique also is about simplifying the form into simpler forms, like our basic shapes. We simplify the whole form into basic shapes. That, that makes it easier to understand. and not the sketch. You understand how it is and then use the many. So now you know why that o like trying to practice doing a lot of those overs really help. Right? It's just the movement of the hand very quickly. So this is just one method of doing it. But if you like the line method and the other method, you could definitely do that. You know, it's up to you. Uh, what we did uh, previously, get all the lines. So even in this one, I could get all the lines. Okay, instead of the ovals, I could also get the lines, you know. Once I get that posture line and this line, then again doing the angles around it is also another method. Everybody is exploring your sketching and drawing skills today. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> All right. We'll move to the next one. Okay. Uh, we don't have to sketch this one. You could just, you if you want, I could like two minutes. Two minutes. You want to sketch it or no? Okay. All right. <laughs> so uh, what I have here as a reference is a detailed version of it and what you could get your sketch to become later.